you know, some days everything just goes right, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. My car passed its MOT, I had two fares to the airport, and then at the pub quiz tonight we scooped the top prize. A pork shop. <laughs> yeah. All in all, my little bumblebee, rather a lucky day. Yes, well, your luck's just run out. <laughs> Come on, Bar. Good night, Ted. <laughs> Ted, rubbing a cold foot up and down my leg isn't going to make me change my mind. No. What's got into you, anyway? It's not Valentine's Day till tomorrow. Hello? Martin, it's me, Ted. Are you asleep? Yes. Have you remembered it's Valentine's Day tomorrow? What? Valentine's Day! Oh, my God. What is it? I'll be right there. What's happened? Oh, it's Sess, uh, just your dad. Oh. Is he all right? Oh, yeah, he's fine, he's fine. You go back to sleep, love. What did he want? I just wants to borrow something. Borrow what? What? What does he want to borrow? What does he want to borrow? Yes, Martin, what does he want to borrow? A pair of pants. <laughs> what? Don't ask me why, he just wants a pair of pants. Any pair of pants will do. God, it's midnight. So? So what does he need them now for? Oh, can't a son-in-law lend his father-in-law a pair of pants at midnight without being interrogated? <laughs> You had a bucket full of roses yesterday. They've all gone. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Yeah, we know. That's why we're here. We left it a bit late. Yeah, we know. What else have you got? All sorts. What do you want? Champagne. It's all gone. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Look at this bloke. Box of chocolates? No, I got a Kit Kat. <laughs> I can't give my wife a Kit Kat. Your kit. What else have you got in there? I want something classy. I got a pork pie. <laughs> Say, classy. Pasty. What's the most expensive thing in your shop? The petrol. <laughs> Phil, what are you doing here? It's bloody Valentine's Day tomorrow. I haven't got Gina thing. I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, yeah, because you're really busy like, aren't you? I've got to put new sell-by dates on these pies. <laughs> no flowers, no perfume, no chocolate. Call yourself a garage. Like I told you, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Oh, shut up. There must be something in here. we got toilet rolls on offer. <laughs> oh, God. Tom Jones in concert. Gene loves him. Oh, you jammy beggar. <laughs> have you got any other CDs? Might have a couple out back. Well, go and have a look, then. Come on. Oh, every year I have this. Why? I wouldn't have thought Barbara was bothered. She wasn't until Maureen Mellor told her she'd been given the trip of her lifetime in a hot air balloon. Where's she going? Doncaster. <laughs> I've got to come up with the goods this year. Linda's going to kill us. I forgot last year. And the year before that. And the year before that. And the year before that. Why don't you get her lots of little things, like a Christmas stocking? Women love that. Right. I've got two. What are they? Teletubbies. <laughs> Tinky Winky's bag. What's the other one? Teletubbies. Dipsy's hat. Barbara, my own sweet Valentine. Oh, You've not put your name on it. Oh, no, that's because Valentines are meant to be shrouded in mystery. Ted, you just gave it to me. <laughs> I might be a messenger for one of your secret admirers. Oh, is that right? Well, next time you see him, tell him Valentine's only got one L. <laughs> Come and get your present. Close your eyes. Oh, Ted, what is oh, it? Just my way of saying I love you. Oh. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> a bar 
barbecue. But not just any barbecue. Comes with a free fork. Oh. So it does. And the bottom slides out for trouble-free cleaning. You forgot, didn't you? No. Ted. Yes. It's all the petrol station ad. Mind you, it's the thought that counts. Oh, no, it flaming isn't. Maureen Mellor's husband's taking her off for a trip in a hot air balloon, and even our Neil's gone away for a dirty weekend with that dumpy one from Asda. And what do I get? A cut price barbecue from the Texaco Mini Mart. Hey, hey! You haven't opened your other present. Sausages! <laughs> Linda, it's lovely. It's antique. I found it in that little shop in Castle Street. Been hiding it since last April. You shouldn't have gone to all that trouble. Oh, I wanted to, love. Mm. Mm. So, come on then. Where's mine? <laughs> I have bought you a Valentine's Day stocking. Oh. I'm not so sure about it now. Well, oh, give us it to you. I've been really busy, what with this new presenter starting and everything. Is it jewellery? Perfume? It's a can of the icer. I know how much you hate it when the windscreen gets frosted up and that, you know. Yeah. Oh, well. Ah, what's this? Oh, you're gonna love the smell of this. Perfume. an air freshener. For the car? Yeah, that's right. Should I the smell of Georgie's puke, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's, uh, very romantic. Nothing. <clears throat> What's this? Scraper. A scraper? Yeah, you know, to scrape the ice off the windscreen. But why would I want to do that, Martin? I mean, I won't need to now, will I? Not seeing as I've got my de-icer. <laughs> Tom Jones! The very same. I was going to buy this. Well, I put a lot of thought into getting that for you, Jim. Oh, Billy! <laughs> so you like it, then? Oh, yes, they're my favourites. Let's put it on now. Some blokes would leave it to the last minute. <laughs> Jean, turn it down. It's a quarter past nine in the morning. Oh, any time is the right time for Tom Jones, Phil. Oh, yes! yes. Jean, I've not had my breakfast. Oh. Yes. All right, Ted. Thanks for the drill. All right. What are you doing? Come here, come here. Do, do I smell a sausage? <laughs> you do a bit, yeah. yeah. It's Barbara. She went mad. Tried to stuff a pound of sausages up my nose. So did that barbecue go down? She tried to stuff a pound of sausages up my nose. You've uh, you missed a bit on your, on your on your glasses. Oh dear. So uh, how did mm, how did Linda like her Valentine's stocking? No, she hardly thanked me at all. I'd gone to a lot of trouble, Ted. Four in the morning it was before I finished wrapping that pasty. <laughs> What am I going to do, Martin? I've got to do something to make it up to her. Have you thought of a weekend break? Oh, no. I took Linda to the Dales last year. We had a great time. Didn't she abandon you outside that petrol station in Wakefield? <laughs> True, we did have a slight disagreement over the amount of wine I'd been drinking, but otherwise it was a wonderful break. She turned up here crying her eyes out. Yes, I remember that, thank you. But she was very grateful I'd taken her away. She kept screaming she wanted a divorce. Look, it's just a suggestion. You think of something. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day, gentlemen. Oh, Were your presents well received? I must say, Tom Jones went down a treat. Jean hasn't been able to keep her hands off me. I've just had an extra large helping of bubble and squeak. <laughs> bubble and squeak? If you know what I mean. Well, I'm not getting any bubble. <laughs> Never mind any squeak. Your father hasn't got a romantic bone in his body. I remember our fourth wedding anniversary. He took me to see the Humber Bridge being painted. <laughs> what was that like? It was like watching paint dry. <laughs> All right. Did Martin remember? Yeah. Oh, what did he get you then? 
A de-icer, an air freshener, a scraper and a pasty. <laughs> You're joking. He's been really busy at work, Mum. So I'm going to hold the hand of a new presenter. Oh, who? Her. That disturbing report there from Olabumbi's side bottom. And who'd have thought that meringues could be so adventurous? <laughs> mm, I'll be trying those at home. I might join you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you inviting yourself round, Martin? <laughs> What's next, Martin? Well, Wendy, it's Valentine's Day. Martin, you're not going to propose. Sadly, I'm already married. Of course. Oh, Martin, thank you. It's just a little something. Oh, it's lovely. Uh, well, I'm glad you like it. Will you put it on? Sadly, that's all we've got time for here on Golden Pond. From uh, Wendy Gould and myself, Martin Pond. A very happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. You're good, spoiling good. me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my love. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, Linda. How was the new presenter? Oh, she's useless. I'm carrying her. Straight to the bedroom, by the looks of it. You what? So you can give her some more jewellery. What do you mean? Did she like the necklace? Ah, uh, I see. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't buy the necklace. It was a prop, you know, for the programme. It was a producer's idea. All oh, right. And was it his idea that I got the bargain bin from Halfords? <laughs> a barbecue? Yeah. And does the bottom slide out for trouble-free cleaning? <laughs> I tell you, Dor, as of now, Teddy's on starvation rations. Oh, you want to be careful, Bar. You know what they say, starve a dog and it goes next door for its dinner. <laughs> well, if he goes to her next door, he'll have to join the queue. <laughs> um, my Clive's got a very strong sex drive. Has he? And so have I. <laughs> Which is handy. <laughs> is that right? Dare I ask what you two are planning for tonight, then? The Valentine's Love Banquet at the Bamboo Palace. <laughs> oh. Have you never done it? Oh, it's ever such good value. Nine ninety nine, and that includes transport. Oh, Mr Wong picks you up in his rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a lot of fun. Well, I hope so. Only last year, Mr Wong got cramp on the ring road, so <laughs> we had to get the bus and we had a moustache. Bye, Dor. Bye, bye. What are you off, Dor? Must fly, Ted. No offence. She's in a hurry. She's off to spend a romantic night in a rickshaw, Ted. Ooh. I think I can do better than a rickshaw, my little bumblebee. What? It's a surprise. And what is it this time? A box of burgers? <laughs> Close your eyes and come with me. Oh, Ted, not Come again. on, Pa! No. Well, I'm not going to go outside in my slippers. You don't have to. Is this just to get into my good books? You could say that. Now, close your eyes. Oh. Another step. Come in. Now, open your eyes. Now we can go for a nice romantic trip of our own. Come and see inside. Wendy? Martin? Stand by, ready to go in ten. Look, uh, just tone down the flirting a bit today, okay? <laughs> Martin, it's just for the show. I know. I don't fancy you. Yeah, yeah, of course you don't. <laughs> Look, Georgie, it's Daddy. And his new, young, sexy co-presenter. 
Hello and welcome to Golden Pond with me, Martin Pond. And me, Wendy Gould. <laughs> so, what have we got on today, Wendy? Well, Martin, I've still got on that lovely necklace you gave me. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I even wore it in bed last night. It was all I was wearing. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a frost tonight. Outside or inside? <laughs> Outside. Oh, yippee. I'll be able to use my scraper. <laughs> Don't leave your socks on the floor. Hello. <laughs> Is Linda still in a bit of a mood? <laughs> Come on, Lindy. Give us a smile. <laughs> Mr. Sock is coming to tickle Linda. Hey! <laughs> Look, Linda, there's nothing going on between me and Wendy. The producers want it to be like Richard and Judy. It's called sexual chemistry. Yeah, chemistry, Martin, not biology. <sighs> For the last time, she does not fancy me. She's faking it. Well, then, me and her have got something in common. <laughs> Fix that roof tomorrow. And what's that smell? What smell? It smells like wet dogs. <laughs> dogs? Yes. What breed? Hairy ones. Mm. Oh, I'll never get off on this mattress. Mm. It's too thin. I can't lie on my side. Mm. And you know what I'm like on my back. <laughs> and you can stop that. You're practically outdoors. Oh, this is the life, eh, Bar? We can go where we want, go when we want, and go how we want. Mm, I want to go now. Well, use the chemical toilet. I'm not sitting on anything that doesn't flush. <laughs> Top of the range. I'm going home. Barbara! We're here now. Barbara, come back! <laughs> All right, Jim. Hey, I made a bit of a mess of Valentine's Day. So I'm going to drive off, and when Barbara wakes up, she'll be in the lakes. You can't get much more romantic than that, can you? Hey? Wendy? Martin? Stand by. Ready to go in ten. Listen, uh, I don't want to clip your wings or anything, but can you cut out the flirting today? What? You know, the sexy banter. It's not going down too well at home. Oh, dear. Listen, darling. I know you might be a bit starstruck, but you're coming on a bit strong, OK? <laughs> starstruck? Martin, can I just explain something to you? I am an attractive, capable woman. You are a stupid, arrogant buffoon. <laughs> now, do you honestly believe I would ever sleep with a repellent moron like you? Because I wouldn't, Martin. No, not even if you were the last man on earth and I hadn't had sex for 20 years. <laughs> Hello. We're Golden Pond. So. How are you today, Martin? I'm fine, thanks, Wendy. How are you? Oh, all the better for seeing you, Martin. Woke up this morning feeling fine. There's something special on my mind. Last night I met a new girl in the neighborhood. Whoa, yeah. So i 
Beautiful. I've, uh, I've had your name engraved on the back. Oh. Lindo. <laughs> what? Oh, God, I'm sorry, love. The engraver was this old bloke, he'd only got one eye. Right. You can change it for something else if you want. No, no, of course not. And I wouldn't want to change you either. Why do they write this rubbish? 20 ways to keep your man interested. That's not a woman's job to keep him interested. It's his job to keep her interested. But you never are. Excuse me. Have you forgotten your birthday? Mm. Another month and it'll be here again. Oh. It's amazing how time flies. Not when you're not getting any. Turn your light off, Ted. <laughs> oh, well. You can't beat your own bed. It does have the advantage of not careering across the country. So. <laughs> I was only trying to be romantic. I know. Well, next year, don't try so hard. A card will do. OK. Ted? Yeah? Come here. Blimey neck. <laughs> <laughs> 